So for the subtask C, now we have a power level uh, minus 20 dB m or dB milliwatt, and we should convert this into um, a power in given in microwatt. So what do we do now? Yeah, so it so now we we know this side of the equation and we want to know this side of the equation. So we would somehow have to rearrange this equation to be able to calculate the power here. So <coughs> yeah, I will maybe just rewrite the equation and so now we want to get this here. We want to get the power we know the reference power because the reference power is is this one here, uh, and we know the power <coughs> we know the power level because the power level is this one there. So, <coughs> what do we do? What do we do with this equation to find the power? We can invert the logarithm, but before, what, what might be a good idea to do before inverting the logarithm? Get, get rid of the 10. So let's divide by 10 first. So when we have the 10 here is gone and we have 1 over 10 on the other side. So then, as you suggested, <coughs> we can try to get rid of the decadic logarithm. So we will take the whole equation, both sides, 10 to the power of whatever we have there. So on this side we get 10 to the power of the power level divided by 10. And on this side, um, 10 to the power of the logarithm will just cancel each other and we get power divided by uh, our reference power. And so the last step then would be What else should we do? Multiply. Multiply with the reference power. So then we just have our power left. And I will change both sides. So the power is our reference power multiplied with 10, ti 10 to the power of the power level divided by 10. Lots of, lots of tens in this equation. Um, but this 10 comes from the um, inverse of the decadic logarithm and this 10 is the factor that we had in front of the decadic logarithm before. And uh, so if we, if we use other colors, this 10 here is this 10 and this 10 here is turns into this 10 over there. Yeah, and then the last step or the, the next step Insert the values, so we get for the power um, that it's 1 milliwatt multiplied with 10 to the power of minus 20 divided by 10. And here I will directly cut or remove the, the dB, because once again you can only calculate 10 to the power of a number but not 10 to the power of a unit, but it's no problem, dB is not really a unit, so we can just cut the dB there. So um, 20 divided by 10 is minus 2, 10 to the power of minus 2 is 1, one over 100, 1 over 100 or 0 0.01, so we get 0 0.01 milliwatt. And we want to have it in microwatt. So what do we do? Multiply, Multiply by 1000 because the conversion between them is 1000. So we get 10 microwatt. Yeah, and this, um, this should be the result. <coughs> and you can also you could also calculate it in a way to say okay minus 20 um, 
what was minus 20 converted into linear units for powers 10 to the power of minus 2, so 1 over 100. It's minus 20 dB means dividing by 100. So we have 1 milliwatt and divide this milliwatt by 100. So we end up with 0.01 milliwatt and this is then 10 microwatt. Or we could also say, okay, the milliwatt here, the reference quantity, 1 milliwatt is 1000 microwatt and 100, 1000 divided by 100 is 10. So we end up with 10 microwatt. And of course you could also do the very same calculation or uh, some similar calculation in Octave. So my mouse already went to sleep, um, but I could wake it up. So let's check the reference power here in this case is uh, once again one milliwatt. I think this is what we had before. And our power level is minus 20. And the power is the reference power multiplied with 10 to the power level divided by 10. And so we end up with this power. And if we want to have it in microwatt, we just take this power multiply by 10 to the power of 6 because micro is 10 to the power of minus 6. So we get 10 microwatt which uh, nicely makes sense. Okay.